Now to the bone dry conditions up and down the West Coast tonight and the fears that an already bad drought could get even worse once the summer heat truly takes hold. The droughts impact clear in places like Folsom Lake, California, critical to the state's water supply. Officials tonight sounding the alarm about the effects of climate change and the new normal that might come with it. Our Zareen Shah reports from the critically low reservoir. Folsom Lake is one of California's largest reservoirs, crucial to providing water to the state's 40 plus million residents. But it's dramatically shrunken this year, docking dozens of boats on dry land. We recognize that we're in a race against time um, to protect our communities and our natural places from the impacts of climate change. People can normally launch boats off of this ramp, especially during this time of year. But as you can see from our drone, those levels are so low, it takes at least a quarter of a mile to get to that water. Relentless heat and dry conditions evaporating the already below average snowpack in the nearby Sierra Nevada mountains that supplies the reservoir. If this was a normal time and this lake was full, how far underwater would we be right now? So right now we'd be about 70 feet underwater. The normal, Richard uh, Preston LeMay has been overseeing Folsom Lake for over 15 years. What exactly is this water right here used for? So the water that we're on right now is used for a variety of things from uh, drinking water for some of the local municipalities. Um, it's also used downstream on the American River uh, for the fisheries habitat and, and then for other um, water consumers downstream for farming agricultural purposes. The superintendent of Folsom Lake Park says the already parched drought conditions are a major concern ahead of what's likely to be a bone dry summer. Unless something changes, this is going to be one of the most dire summers that you've ever seen here. It is, yes, for sure. 100 percent of the state of California suffering a worsening drought, posing a threat to farmers. The state's hydroelectric power plants, which could mean rolling blackouts throughout the state and wildfire danger that could displace numerous communities. Climate change worsens the extremes that lead to drought, including by making average temperatures hotter and heat waves last longer. Climate change impacts have become a matter of protecting communities in California, worsening wildfire risk, uh, worsening drought, extreme heat. We used to think about preparing for climate change impacts as sort of a future planning exercise uh, for coming decades. Now we're actually responding to it as a public safety imperative. California's Natural Resource Secretary seeing the effects of climate change year after year, publicly confronting former President Donald Trump in the midst of the state's historic 2020 fire season. If we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay, it'll start getting cooler. I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> hey, well, I don't think science knows actually. Now he's focused on solutions. We do have to take action. We cannot stick our head in the sand. We have to be driven by science and facts and actually make the investments and make the decisions that we need to, both to reduce carbon pollution and combat climate change and protect our communities in the meantime. Wade Crowfoot says the state is currently in its second drought season and drastic measures could be ahead if it continues. Of 2015, I remember you know, um, guidance from the state to, for us to take certain actions at home. Yeah. To limit water, to not flush us off, to take yep. shorter showers. Are we headed in that direction right now? We don't know um, how long this drought will last. And if this drought, for example, lasts into a, a, a third dry winter, um, those types of restrictions would certainly be uh, possible if not expected. Just this week, one of the state's largest counties, Santa Clara, announced it will restrict water use, even opening the door to fine people if they waste water. And California's wine industry suffering from the continued water shortages, forcing wineries to adapt. We're planning on coping with uh, the climate change and the reduction of rain. We don't see that it will necessarily be improving and we want to be prepared. At Acquiesce Winery, the all-female farm's owner Susan Tipton says her harvest took a 25% hit last season. It's a worry. I wonder if my granddaughter will be able to walk through this vineyard one day and uh, make wine from it. So concerned, she says she recently donated part of her 18 acres to UC Davis to study which grapes farmers should be planting to best thrive in these changing conditions. Water is a finite thing. 
And to preserve the art of making wine, she and many local farmers placing a tax on themselves, partly from monthly meetings with climate scientists. What is it like emotionally? This is something you've poured your heart into. You started this, this winery. I think that, you know, it's disturbing for sure, um, worrisome for sure, but I think you have to put a spin on it to think long term and what you can do. Holding on to hope as the world continues getting warmer. Despite everything that happened, you're hopeful. Oh, certainly. Yes, you have to be. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Folsom Lake. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.